Question 9. Solve for x is between 360 degrees and 540 degrees. 12 sine squared x plus 7 cos x minus 13 equals 0. Now in this kind of question we try to form a quadratic equation in either sine x or cos x. And here it's far easier to form the quadratic equation in cos x because sine squared can be written as 1 minus cos squared. So the first line of our working is 12 1 minus cos squared x plus 7 cos x minus 13 equals 0. Expand the bracket and we get 12 minus 12 cos squared x plus 7 cos x minus 13 equals 0. Now we'll take everything to the right hand side where the cos squareds will be positive. So we'll leave 0 on the left and that will be equal to 12 cos squared x take the plus 7 cos x across becomes minus 7 cos x and on the left hand side I've got 12 minus 13 which is minus 1 take it the other side it becomes plus 1 now here I can either factorize this to find cos x or I can use a calculator and if I use the calculator to solve that quadratic with coefficients 12 minus 7 and 1 I find that cos x equals a third or cos x equals a quarter. Now we have to find the answers between 360 and 540. Well if I do cos the minus 1 of a third I find that's 70.5 degrees. And if I do cos the minus 1 of a quarter, that comes to 75.5 degrees. Now I've got to interpret those angles on a diagram that shows 360 to 540. And here I'll use the CAS diagram, or the all sin tan cos diagram, which shows where the various trigonometric ratios are positive. So this line here is the line the angle is 0 or 360 and now cos the minus 1 a third is 70.5 degrees which is in that first quadrant and the other place where cos is positive is in the fourth quadrant so when I'm working out what these angles are I have to go around once to get to 360 but as I come around the second time when I've turned through 70.5 degrees I will have an answer between 360 and 540. So the answer is 360 plus the 70.5, which is 430.5 degrees. Now I can't get round to the other place where cosine is positive, because that would be in the fourth quadrant, and I'd be getting close to 720 degrees. So there's only one answer coming from cos to the minus 1 a third equals 70.5 degrees. But I can also look in the same way with cos the minus 1 a quarter is 75.5 degrees. I go around the cast diagram once and then on the second revolution I come to that answer in the first quadrant which would be 360 plus 75.5 degrees. And that is 435.5 degrees. And they're the only two answers in the range we're looking at.